Connor Lauren Clapton was born on August 21st, 1986, in London, England. He was the first child born to Eric Clapton and Lori Del Santo. In an interview with Lori, she stated that she initially did not want to have a relationship with Clapton, but he was so persistent that he gave me some confidence, so we started to have a relationship. She states that her relationship started slow at first, and over time she realized his alcoholism. She stated that it wasn't until that they went to a club he became abusive. She realized that he drank to get drunk. His solution to the problem was to go away for a month at a time and to try to stop, and he'd come back to me drinking water. Then things would be all right before the bad times returned, and he'd start drinking again. Lori described Eric as needing total silence in the house, and she never heard him play guitar or sing, except once to sing Happy Birthday over the phone. Clapton would be silent for days at a time, and Lori would be silent also, as she stated that he expected her to be silent during these time periods. Lori would not speak until spoken to, and she felt that when Eric would talk, he would say something really beautiful that would make up for all of the silences. During a talking period of time, Lori brought up how she wanted to have a baby, and she states that Eric replied with, Oh, me too. Lori was in disbelief, and Clapton asked her, Are you really, really serious? Because if you are, let's do it. Apparently, this talk happened in September, and December of the same year, she became pregnant. When Lori found out that she was pregnant, she was thrilled, but Eric was not pleased at all, and he went into a dark mood once told the news. Lori stated that his reaction did not change how she felt, and she justified his mood since he had recently moved to a townhome in London, which was next to noisy traffic. She stated that Eric was completely thrown off track, as his life up to that point had been very simple and organized. It took six months for Eric to adjust to the idea of being a father. At some point, Lori moved back to Italy. At what I assume to have been about three months into the pregnancy, Clapton's manager called her, who told her things that were too horrible for her to repeat. He accused her of using the baby as a way to later demand things from Clapton and demanded that she got an abortion. Lori stated that when she makes a decision, she goes through with it. Eventually, Lori got a call from Eric telling her that he tried to hang himself. He attempted suicide by trying to hang from a tree, but instead fainted. Later in the pregnancy, he called her to ask about her well-being, then even wrote her a letter telling her that he wanted to be a dad. He later called her insisting to come over for dinner, to which he did, and he left three days later. Once he left, Lori could not find the letter that he wrote her, the only proof that she had that he wanted to have the baby. Clapton later called her when she was eight months pregnant, and she told him that she was going to London to have the baby. When asked why, Lori told Eric, This baby's father is English. He should be born there. After Lori gave birth, her, Eric, and Connor lived in the English countryside. This was allegedly a time that Clapton didn't drink, and Lori felt that Eric resented their baby, unable to deal with the lack of silence and the messes that the baby made. Eric would never play with Connor and would instead just look at his son as if he was a world apart from him. Three years after Connor was born, Lori left Eric stating that she wanted another baby and Eric was so insecure. In a 1989 interview, Clapton stated that he would have liked to have more children, but in a marriage scenario, as his son was born in a very unstable relationship. They would meet together from time to time so Eric could see how his son was doing, but it was not until the day of Connor's death that Clapton realized how much his son meant to him. 
On March 20, 1991, Lori and Connor were inside their friend's condo in New York, staying for the month. On the 19th, Connor had went to the circus with his father and was excited for the next day. On the 20th, Eric was to pick up Connor to spend another day and have lunch with him. According to Lori, the apartment block janitor was in the apartment cleaning. Lori stated that she told the nanny and the maid not to leave Connor alone for one second. She heard the fax ring and went to check it, which it turned out to be an estimate for some repair work. Lori states that she was comparing it to other statements for about 15 minutes where she heard Connor start to run around playing hide and seek. Lori heard the nanny running behind him, but Connor ran into the room where the janitor was cleaning, the janitor stopping the nanny to tell her he slid open the window. When the janitor stopped her, Connor ran straight out the window. Lori heard the nanny scream, which prompted Lori to run in the room shouting, Where's Connor? She then saw the open window and collapsed to the floor. Five minutes after the accident, Eric arrived, not realizing that Connor had fell. He came into the bedroom and Lori screamed, he's dead. His eyes went dark and he said, dead, he's dead, it's impossible. Lori stated that the window was never meant to be open and she never even knew that it was possible to open. The window was kept permanently locked, but the lock was broken and for some reason the janitor opened the window. Lori stated that she wanted to kill the janitor. She stated that he had no common sense and never even asked for forgiveness later. Lori stated that she wishes she could go back in time and not have read that fax and instead seen the open window and closed it. Connor's funeral was held at St. Mary Magdalene's Church in Ripley, Surrey. He was four years old. Despite there being a rule in 1984 that stated apartments in New York were to have protective gates on windows, condos were exempt from this rule. After Connor's death, Lori found out that she was pregnant again already near the end of her first trimester. At another undisclosed time, Lori had another child that was born three months premature and died of an infection at two weeks. In the months after his son's death, Eric barely slept. He later went on to channel his pain into his music, creating the song Tears in Heaven. The song has gone on to be Clapton's best-selling single in the United States and is still majorly popular in countries worldwide. In 2004, Eric stopped performing the song, stating, I didn't feel the loss anymore, which is so much a part of performing those songs. I really have to connect with the feelings that were there when I wrote them. They're kind of gone and I really don't want them to come back, particularly. My life is different now. They probably just need a rest and maybe I'll introduce them for a much more detached point of view. Since Connor's death, Eric Clapton has advocated for childproofing houses and apartments. In 2018, Lori's son, Lauren, committed suicide after suffering from anhedonia, a disease that prevents the sufferer from feeling any sort of pleasure.